the 28th of March. I hope everyone's safe. Um, today is actually my second proper day staying home and I thought that I would start the two week abs challenge. Yay! <laughs> so actually I've tried doing this like twice already but then I never ended up finishing it. So I'm gonna try again and hopefully I can finish it this time. I think I gained some weight since coming back from Korea, obviously because I just ate whatever I wanted there. So I'm gonna try eating less. No, not only eating. I'm gonna try controlling what I'm eating. Still eat what I want, but I guess controlling the portion. So today is day one, 28th of March. That means I finish this on April 11th. Okay. Oh, this is Chloe Ting's two weeks ab challenge. Usually, my type of exercise is just dance. Yeah, just dance. I don't work out, I don't go to the gym, and I haven't danced in a while, so this workout is gonna be hard. Let's go. Oh, I'm, I'll show you my before, my current state right now. Bonk. <laughs> I think because yesterday I had a rest day. Currently, there is nothing. Yay! <laughs> now that I'm looking back at this, I don't know what I was talking about. But you can kind of see a line, right? Anyway. <laughs> This is me after the abs workout. It's so funny, I was walking upstairs and I could feel like this top part bulging out. This is me relaxing. Oh, you can kind of... Wait, I'm not stopping here. 
halfway done for today's uh, workouts. There's two more videos. Can you see? I'm just gonna do a quick update before I eat. I'm like halfway right now, day seven. I thought things would get easier, but it still hurts. The, the one where you put your legs up and then forward. It's just, but I'm gonna keep going. Still got seven more days to go. I realized I might not be seeing like a drastic result just because like honestly I wouldn't say I was heavy no, I wasn't like super chubby to begin with but that what do you call this like the upper abs definitely feels like much stronger my fat has not gone yet <laughs> has not disappeared yet but I'm not ex actually expecting it to go away because I don't know I'm like eating very normally I think just me personally, it's a bit harder to get rid of my fat, especially in my stomach, belly. So in that sense, I'm not gonna lose a lot of weight, lose a lot of, a lot of fat, I think. But I can definitely feel the muscles growing. Growing? Because I didn't exercise, I feel kind of <laughs> not motivated. <laughs> but that's it. I'm sweating, can you see? So, it's officially the last day of the two week abs challenge. I'm about to do my last workout. To be honest, I'm really satisfied. I'll talk more after my workout, but I'm ready to finish this. This is me breathing. <laughs> oh my god, when I laugh, it's more prominent. Okay, I have two more. I have the core and arms and the lower body. Hey!
think that it, it gets easier, but I'm still sweating and I'm still so tired. I'm just gonna change my pants so you can see better. <laughs> I feel kind of weird just showing my um, stomach like this. Okay, so I kind of just have to cool myself down so I can probably sit down and talk about my two weeks. Was it worth it? Yes. Am I happy? Yes. What other questions? I really didn't expect it to be this. I don't know, it's so... I can't... I never thought I could have abs. I don't know, that sounds weird. This is my body now. Fuck. I had so many things I wanted to say on camera, but now I forgot it. But basically, this really does work. I'm really satisfied and shocked at the same time about the results. Um, considering that I'm staying home, I've been staying home the past two weeks that I've been doing this program uh, because of the quarantine. So because I haven't been going out, this is all I'm relying on. Other than this workout, I've, I literally just sit here and I watch stuff on my laptop or that's it. <laughs> so I'm pretty surprised at the results. It's so weird. What's even more weird is that I ate dinner and I looked at the mirror and I'm like, wow, I can still see my abs. <laughs> Usually when I eat, it's like super bloated, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. From what I remember, the first few days were actually really, really hard for me. I kept pushing it and even though it was hard, you just gotta keep remembering that no one, no one likes the process, I think. No one likes the pain. I don't know, maybe some people do, but like, I just kept doing it because I know that I will see results. I could feel it. It was like <laughs> bulging out. <laughs> so I'm just saying that it's not easy, but you just gotta keep pushing it because it will, it will appear one day if you keep working for it. I hope this motivated some of you at least, because um, I know that when I watch some of the other YouTubers experience videos, vlogs and all that. It kind of encouraged me as well. So I was like, I'm just gonna film myself as well because I wanted to see the progress of my experience as well. And to be honest, I think filming it helps a lot as well because you can watch back on your videos and see your body, I guess, form. I know some people have mirrors in their house. Actually, this is the only mirror I have. And like, in my, in my room, I mean. I can't really watch myself. Yeah, and there's like no space here on, my, on the floor. So I couldn't really watch myself when I was working out downstairs. I had no way to see if I was doing it right or wrong. So I recorded it and I looked back on it and then you could tell. And actually, I'm- wow. I just want to say, maintaining a good form is actually really important as well. There were a lot of movements that required you to tense, use your core. That's what Chloe says, I think. And it really makes a difference if you just think about using that core. For example, the, the what's it called when you the up and down challenge with your arm? I forgot what the name of it was. At first, I was like, oh, it's not that hard. You just move your arm up and down, right? If you think about using your core, then it actually really makes a difference. And I realized that only in the second week. But yeah, it's really hard to explain, but I think the more you practice, it's easier to understand. But yeah, even if it's not doing this program, I think it's good to just work out or like do something active at home once a day or a few, few once a few one one time once a few days anyway just don't give up it's called a challenge for a reason so yeah just challenge yourself that's it for my video i hope you enjoyed watching my progress with this challenge and